So the slide is visible now, right? So today we're gonna start with um, rotational motion. Actually, uh, in case of linear motion, an object can like, if you consider in one dimensional motion, an object moves along a line, like any kind of line. But in case of rotational motion, an object usually uh, rotate. It's rotated. So this kind of motion are gonna uh, discuss today. So to study the rotational motion, at first we have to learn a little bit about the uh, rigid body. What does a rigid body means? A rigid body is a kind of body in which uh, the shape of the body, if the shape of the body does not change during motion, uh, this kind of body are called rigid body. For example, a stone, a pen that is in uh, your hand. Uh, or something like this, uh, or maybe a bottle. It, it, these are example of rotational motion. So that, that is an example of rigid body. That means, uh, in case of rigid body, the <coughs> shape does not change during motion. Okay. So now let's start uh, rotational motion. And in case of rotational motion, actually, today we are going to discuss rotation of rigid body. Basically. That's why I give you, um, I tell you the definition of rigid body. So once an object rotate, in case of rotation, actually always we consider a fixed axis. On the body, the fixed axis, the body, we consider a fixed axis and the object start rotating uh, about this axis. For example, let's say uh, you have a stone and you, uh, and you uh, like start rotating this stone and this stone is connected to a rope, for example, and you start rotating it. Like this way about this axis, right? So uh, always in case of rotation, we take a fixed axis and we say, okay, the object is rotating about a fixed axis. Okay. So and this axis about which the object rotate is called axis of rotation or rotation axis. Okay. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> that is the rotational axis. And now in our uh, to this uh, in this class, we are gonna learn how the different uh, variable. What are the different variable of rotation? Set I'm going to jump just a moment. So in case of rotation, for example, uh, let's say uh, you can see a like, figure here. Just have a look at this. Uh, there is a figure. Here you can see, let's say, uh, this blurred object or the this circular object, I say, this is a solid body and it is rotating about Y axis. For example, it is rotating about Y axis. Okay, it is rotating about y axis, and then uh, once we measure the rotational motion, once we work with the rotational motion, what we have to learn first is the displacement. The displacement of the rotational object. So, what is the displacement or what is the position of a rotating object? So, to do that, what we do actually, we take a reference line, we consider a reference line that is uh, that passes through the object. And that is perpendicular to the axis of rotation. Axis of rotation is perpendicular at right camera consider uh, about the reference line. Okay, I'm like a reference line that is perpendicular to the uh, axis of rotation. Okay, and uh, and that passes through the rotating object as well. For example, uh, if I consider that this is a stone, for example. And this is my axis, for example. If this is my axis, uh, this line, let's say, a line, this line can be considered as a reference line. Yeah. And then, uh, and let's say the object is rotating about the red line. This is my axis of rotation, okay? This is my axis of rotation, the red line. And now, the, also object rotated, it can rotate this way. Once an object rotate, it rotate in a circular path. So let's say it's rotating a circular path. And any position on the circle will give you the angular position. Then any position of the like one position about the position of the object. It's a borrow object. Right? Let's say this is a big object, the black one. Or it's an object. This is the object, okay? It is rotating. And this is a black object, a position and contanibo. Actually, a position I mean shit, jet out reference line, they connect a position to me, angular position. A circle is put a reference line at a position, set a angular position. Like this is my angular position. And for example, after certain time, let's say the object reach here. So that means object is here. After certain time, but this point, the reference line to the point I cut to the shape and look this position. So your position now is this much. Your position now is this much. Okay, so the initial position is here and the final position is here. And the 
the angular distance between i to f are called the angular displacement. So by the way, anyway, so uh, uh, here in case of <coughs> this kind of motion, uh, uh, let's say here uh, is a clear picture is given here. Let's say the radon is the reference line and the object starts from here. And after traveling s, after traveling the linear distance s, this is the linear distance. Yeah. This is the arc along the arc of the circle. Okay, along the arc of the circle, let's say along, uh, the object travel a distance of s. By the way, this distance s is a linear distance. So if an object travel a linear distance of s, the corresponding angular distance will be the corresponding angular distance. If the corresponding angular distance is theta, we can say theta equal to s over r. We can say theta equal to s over r, where r is the radius of the circle. Okay, so and uh, this theta is measured in radians. This is measured in radians. When you measure the angle uh, or when you measure the displacement here, Jacob mm -hmm. displacement measure for Vajai Corona Cano, Amra measurement gulo radian for the medium calculator is for the calculator the catch for the Oboshoi to mark calculator is a thing the modus in the calcor, degree radian, this kind of thing. It is also rad moderate. Okay, so that. So if I know the linear distance traveled by an object is S, if the linear distance traveled by the object is S, and if the radius of the circular path is R, in that case, the angular distance traveled by the object can be given, given as theta equal to S by R, and where R is radians. And by the way, I think you know the relation between radians and degree. Degree and radian and relation, Relation to the one regulation like 360 degree or the two pi radian equal to 360 degree. Like this is the relation between radian and degree. And from there, you can say one degree equal to or one radian equal to 360 degree over two pi. Or in other way, the tomato will the borrow your one degree equal to two pi over 360. So this is the formula that can be used to convert radian to degree or degree to radian. So now, uh, in case of linear motion, we use several variables like uh, displacement and then uh, uh, velocity, acceleration. Same type of variable are also uh, used in case of rotational motion. In case of rotational motion, we also use angular displacement. In case of rotational motion, the displacement is called angular displacement. Let's say uh, this is a circular path. And an object was initially here. Uh, this is uh, uh, let's say this is the reference. This is the reference. Okay. This is the reference. And this is the initial position I. And let's say the angle, or I can say, okay, this is the reference and the initial position of the object was like this. Theta, theta I, I was the initial position of the object. And after time T, the object reached here. And this is the reference line, by the way. The blue line is the reference line. This is the final position is theta f. Then the distance between the final angle and initial angle or, or final position, minus initial position is called the angular displacement. So angular displacement delta theta can be written as theta f minus theta i. This is the angular displacement. And by the way, if the object changes its position, if the object changes its initial position with time, okay, or if the object changes its angular position with time, the object has some velocity. And in case of angular velocity, uh, angular displacement in case of angular motion or rotational motion, this velocity is called rotational velocity or this velocity is called angular velocity. So how to define the angular velocity? Uh, the definition is almost same as the linear motion. Same as the linear motion. So what is my angular velocity? So if this distance delta t, theta is traveled in time delta t, in that case, the average angular motion, omega average, by the way, here, omega means angular velocity. So average angular velocity can be written as a theta f minus theta i over delta t, or this can be written as uh, delta theta over delta t. So this is the formula for average angular velocity 
And also we know there exists a uh, velocity that is called instantaneous velocity. So in case of uh, rotational motion, there also exists an, an instantaneous angular velocity. So by the way, the definition for, do you guys remember the definition for instantaneous velocity? The definition for instantaneous velocity is linear, in case of linear velocity, the definition for instantaneous velocity was like this. V instantaneous was equal to limit of delta t tends to zero, delta theta over delta t. That means instantaneous velocity is basically denote the velocity at a particular time. Same here for rotational motion, instantaneous rotational velocity <coughs> or instantaneous angular velocity is the angular velocity at a particular time. And that can be defined as, same formula will be applied, limit of delta t tends to zero, delta t tends to zero, delta theta over delta t. And by the way, delta theta over delta t, limit of delta t tends to zero equal to d theta over dt. d theta over dt. So this is the definition for the angular velocity, instantaneous angular velocity. And if once an object moves, moving, one, once an object starts moving, if its velocity changes with time, we can say, okay, the object has some acceleration. And same again here, if an object uh, is rotating and its angular velocity changes with time, we can say, okay, there exists some angular acceleration here. And the formula for angular acceleration can be defined as, there can be same again, two kinds of angular acceleration. Angular acceleration is denoted by alpha. So uh, angular acceleration, average angular acceleration is given by delta alpha over delta t, that means, sorry, delta v by delta, delta omega by delta t. Delta omega by delta t, that is omega f minus omega i. Omega f is the final velocity and omega i is the initial velocity. And delta t is the time, uh, that means in time delta t, omega i changes to omega f. And this is the expression for average acceleration, angular acceleration. And same, again, the Instantaneous acceleration, alpha can be defined as limit of delta t tends to zero, delta omega over delta t. So that is equal to d omega over dt. So instantaneous acceleration is defined as rate of change in angular velocity. Okay. So these are the definition. And uh, by the way, uh, I'm going to compare Cori. If we consider the quantity in case of linear and angular motion, the displacement for linear motion is delta x and for angular motion, the displacement is delta theta. If you consider velocity, uh, in case of linear motion, the velocity can be defined as rate of change in position, linear position, dx over dt. Whereas for angular motion, my velocity is omega and that is defined as d theta over dt. And in case of acceleration, acceleration is defined as linear motion dv by dt. And in case of angular motion, it is d omega by dt. And also we can also write a equal to d square x over dt square. And same again here, alpha can be written as d squared theta over dt squared, right? Because so, so this, there is, this is a comparison between uh, different variable uh, for linear and angular velocity. So this uh, thing I think are uh, quite known to you guys. Let's try to solve a math. Let's try to solve a math. Uh, so, let me Okay, let's uh, <clears throat> think a child stop. I can go check him after the child stop atop to Latin Amjan is spun with an angular acceleration of alpha equal to 5t cube minus 4t. So some acceleration is given here. Acceleration is equal to. So acceleration is given by uh, five. So, so. At me, I want to time that away. PowerPoint response for okay. Okay. Excellent time. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
ही खंबा जीरो The top has an angular velocity of five radian per second, and uh, a reference line is on the angular position of theta equal to two radian. So at time t equal to zero, this was your velocity, and this was the position. And here they are asking us to find out the expression for the angular velocity, expression for the angular velocity as a function of time, omega as a function of time. How to do that? So we know actually, you see, we know alpha equal to what? Alpha equal to d omega over dt that means the omega is equal to alpha dt and what we can do we can integrate both side and this will give us the omega equal to integral over alpha dt so this gives us omega equal to alpha dt and the value of alpha is 5t cube minus 4t times dt is it clear and then if we integrate this we will be getting 5 tq will give us 5 t to the power 4 over 4 minus 4 t squared over 2 plus c. So omega of t is basically equal to 5 over 4 t to the power 4 minus 2 t squared plus c. C here. What is c here, by the way? C that we didn't. What about? What is c? Hello. C is constant of integration. C is constant of integration. Now the problem here is we had to know the constant of integration. Where C is, so omega is basically equal to five by four t to the power four minus two t square plus C, where C is constant of integration. And by the way, uh, so. That means this expression is not complete because C is unknown to us. And how to find out C? To find C, what we will be doing? We will be using initial value. Do you guys uh, have any idea about the initial value? Initial value, something you can idea. So initial value is the uh, is the value of the dependent variable when at at the initial of dependent variable. That means The value of omega at t equal to zero. What? When you can tell us that t equal to zero, at t equal to zero, my omega is equal to five. So if we replace these values here, if we replace these values here in equation one, if we replace this in equation one, so equation one, t divided by omega equation one gives us omega t at time t equal to zero, omega equal to five, equal to five over four. Zero to the power four minus two into zero to the power three plus three. Now that means c equal to five. Right? So c equal to five. Then we can say 
omega t is equal to 5 over 4 t to the power 4 minus 2 q plus 3. So this is the um, expression for omega. This is the expression for omega. And now a second part of this problem is second part of this problem is to find out find out theta theta of t theta as a function of time if alpha is this we found omega as a function of time like this 5 over 4 t to q this is 5 over 4 t cube minus 2 t square or 5 over 4 t to the power 4 minus 2 t cube minus 2 t uh, 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 t square it have by the way this should be square this should be square t square t square plus c plus five. plus five so this is our omega of t now can you guys find out the value of theta theta ki bear kote parbe tumra hello theta value ta ki amake ekta bear kore dekhabe keu ami ekta chaichhi tumra ekta theta value bear koro find out the value of theta so how to get it? The theta over dt is equal to omega. So we can say theta equal to integral of omega dt. So what you have to do basically, we have to integrate this thing. You have to integrate this thing, uh, theta equal to integral over omega dt. This is basically five over four t to the power four minus two t square plus five and then dt. So this will give you Theta equal to theta of t equal to by the way five over four t to the power five over five minus two t to the power three over three plus five t plus another constant c prime. So basically theta of t is equal to one over four t to the power five minus two over three t to the power three plus five t plus c prime, where c prime is a constant of integration and can be obtained from obtained from initial value. Theta value, uh, theta uh, C prime can be obtained from initial value. What are the initial value here? The initial value means at t equal to zero, what was the value of theta t? Now t equal to zero, chilo, theta t chilo. That's why I can tell us that at t equal to zero, the initial angular position of theta was two radian. At time t equal to zero, theta was two. So at t equal to zero, so at t equal to zero, theta equal to two. So replace t by zero and theta by two. Then you get zero, two equal to one over four into zero, minus two by three into zero, plus five into zero, plus c prime. So that gives us c prime equal to two. So we can say theta equal theta of t equal to one over four t to the power five minus two over three t to the power three plus five t plus two. So this is the answer. Okay. So and again, uh, let's discuss a little bit about the rotation uh, when an object rotates uh, and its acceleration is constant. If an object is moving linearly, if an object is moving linearly, and if it has a constant acceleration, then what we can do, we can uh, define, we can derive a set of linear equation. Then we can derive a set of equation for linear motion. Linear motion is a particular equation journey, like v equal to u plus a t, right? Like what v is final velocity, u is initial velocity, and then uh, v square equal to u square plus two a, s and s equal to ut plus one half a t square and similar type of equation can be derived for angular motion equation what do you have to do just you have to replace u with the initial velocity u will be replaced by theta naught this is the final velocity it will be replaced by theta your acceleration should be replaced by no my value 
you miss the velocity, right? Na? So you should be replaced by omega naught. You should be replaced by omega naught. B should be replaced by omega. Acceleration should be replaced by alpha in case of linear motion. And your AS displacement should be replaced by theta. Displacement block only, you can take the equation block as a linear motion uh, for angular motion. Omega means B means omega, omega equal to omega naught plus alpha t, and omega square equal to omega naught square plus twice alpha into theta. And theta equal to theta is the distance traveled by the object equal to omega naught t plus one half alpha t square. So these are the set of equations. This is the equation of motion for an object if it is rotating in at a constant acceleration alpha. Alpha constant acceleration is that object travel correct. Uh, the angular motion equation will use for body. So using this variable, we can find out some missing variable in the problem. Problem with the missing variable packet, a uh, formula will use for the figure out the body. Yes, see some of them. Here is a problem. Uh, a grindstone, the grindstone is given here, is rotates at a constant angular velocity of, uh, sorry, a constant angular acceleration of alpha equal to 0.35 radian per second square. At time t equal to zero, it has an angular velocity of omega naught equal to 4.6 radian per second. And a reference line on its horizontal is a reference line uh, at an angular position of zero. At what time after t equal to zero is the reference line at the angular position of theta equal to five revolution? Alpha is given 0 0.35 radian per second square. And then omega naught is the initial velocity is given. That is minus 4.6 radian per second. Alpha omega naught bola asse. At what time? After what time my theta equal to Five revolution. So, I'm okay. Time figure out what happened. So, displacement is given, omega naught is given, alpha is given. We have to find out t. So, the formula we know theta equal to what? Omega naught t plus one half alpha t square, right? This is the formula. By the way, theta equal to five radians or five revolution. What does this mean? Five revolution means t. Therefore, in case of angular motion, I'm not this. Uh, displacement he unit is a good unit for displacement is what unit for displacement is radian radian is good and five revolution means how much radian uh, radian one revolution is what one revolution if an object uh, starts from here and complete one revelation you can have a tool as well one revolution means two pi radians so five revolution means 10 pi radians, right? 10 pi radians. So here you have to replace 10 pi should be equal to omega naught minus 4.6 uh, and t is t plus one half alpha is 0 0.35 and t square. So this will give you uh, 10 pi is equal to minus 4.60 and then plus 0 0.175 t square. So that's basically 0 0.175 t square plus minus 4.60 minus 10 pi equal to zero. So we get a quadratic equation and solving this quadratic equation, you will get the final, you will get the value of t. Is it clear? So if we solve it, you can get the value of t. So Asha Guru Tuma Jano, quadratic equation solve for formula Jano Naita. Hello. X square plus bx plus c. If I have equation like this, so x equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac plus 2a. This is the formula. So we are going to use this formula. Let's try another map. And also, and also, what we can do, we can relate linear variable with the angular variables. In case of linear motion, we use some variable. 
like let's say here. Let's say this is the linear motion. And here we left side the angular motion or rotational motion. So in linear motion, displacement is given by x, or angular motion is given by theta. Velocity is v, angular motion velocity is omega. And then uh, acceleration is alpha, uh, sorry, acceleration is a here, acceleration is alpha here. So what is the relation between ax and theta, v and omega, and a and alpha? So if an object, let's say an object, now uh, what we'll be doing, we'll establish a relation between uh, linear variables with the angular variable. Let's say a object is traveling in a circular path. A object, uh, this is a circular path, let's say. This is my x-axis and this is my y-axis and an object, r is the radius okay, of the circular path. And an object starts from here and it travel, uh, its initial position was here and final position is here. Okay, so, so during this motion, the linear distance traveled by this object is x. x is the linear distance traveled by the object, or let's name it s. Let's name it s. So linear distance is s number. S. Okay. So here also linear distance x bullet, s bullet. So the linear distance traveled by the object is s, and the angular distance traveled by the object is theta. So in that case, we can say s equal to, or arc length s equal to r theta. So this gives the relation between, therefore, uh, you say linear displacement equal to radius time angular displacement, right? Okay. And velocity, see, velocity is equal to what? Velocity means rate of change in displacement. So ds over dt. So this can be written as d dt of, s means r theta, and r is the radius of the circle, which is constant. So r d theta over dt, and d theta over dt means omega. So v equal to r omega. Or we can say v equal to omega r. V equal to omega r. And by the way, acceleration is dv over dt. So this is basically d dt of v means omega r. And by the way, omega, oh, oh, omega r. r. And r is a constant. So we can say r d omega by dt. So we can say, okay, the omega by dt means alpha r alpha. So a equal to alpha r. So these three, these three are the relation between linear, uh, linear variables with the corresponding angular variable. This is linear displacement, theta is the uh, angular displacement. So linear displacement equal to radius times angular displacement, linear velocity equal to radius times angular velocity, linear acceleration equal to radius times angular acceleration. This is the thing. And also, uh, we want to find out the time period. What is time period, by the way? Time period is uh, the simple harmonic oscillation. Time period is the time after which the object uh, reaches its initial position. That means that object, for example, a blue line is a blue line. distance linear distance travel distance by the object is 2 pi times r. And what is the angular distance corresponding? The corresponding angular distance is how much? 2 pi. So angular distance theta equal to twice pi. And now, right, angular distance is 2 pi. Akon, it took help or velocity to the high v. If the, and, and let's say the time taken to complete this rotation, the time taken to complete the, a full, uh, circle, full circular rotation is t. If the total time is t, we can say v equal to distance by time. 2 pi r by time, right? V equals 2 pi r by time. And that means time equals to 2 pi r by V. So we can say time equal to 2 pi r over V means omega r. R and R are gonna cancel each other. So we can say T equal to twice pi by omega. So this is basically the relation between time period and the angular velocity. This is the relation between time period and angular velocity.
So these are the relation actually between the angular uh, variable and linear variable. Let's try some math. Let's try some math. Uh, here is an example. The angular acceleration of a wheel is 60 to the power 4 minus 4 t squared. Uh, where alpha is in radians and uh, t is in second. At time t equal to zero, the object has an angular velocity of two radian per second and, and an angular position of one radian, time t equal to zero. Then find out the angular velocity, angular position as a function of time. Maybe at the camera put the corpo. I don't see other example. Alpha is given. We have to find out the value of v and alpha is given. We have to find out the value of omega and theta. So alpha equal to. 60 to the power 4 minus 4 t square. So we know omega equal to alpha dt. So this will give you a value of omega t. If we solve this thing, then you will get 60 to the power 4 minus 4 t square dt. It can solve it around core dt. You have to solve this thing, and this will give you the value of omega t. And by the way, at the end of the day, you will get a constant here. It will be like 6. So it is 6 to the power, power 5 over 5 minus 4 to the power 3 over 3 plus constant. Okay. So we get a constant in this expression. This is the constant of integration. A constant that you have figured out Corbo. Using this condition at time t equal to 0, omega was equal to 2. So at time t equal to 0, omega was equal to 2. That means we can get c equal to you can t equal to zero we will get c equal to two. So that means omega of t is equal to six over five t to the power five minus four over three t to the power three plus two. And uh, by the way, uh, this is the uh, expression for omega t. And you have to use the same formula to find the value of theta, theta equal to omega dt. Okay? And you have to follow the same procedure. And you have to replace omega by this thing. And this will give you the value of theta. I think it is easy for you uh, to put the bottom. And another math is given here. A flywheel, a flywheel transfer for to evolution as it slows from an angular speed of 1.5 radians to stop. So a flywheel turns for to evolution uh, as it slows from an angular speed of 1.5 radians to stop. Stop means zero velocity. So initial angular velocity was omega, or let's say omega naught was like 1.5 radian per second. And final angular speed was zero. And displacement was 40 revolution. So 40 revolution, that means 40 times 2 pi, that is equal to 80 pi, 80 pi in radians. So that means after traveling 80 pi radians, the velocity of the angular velocity of the object uh, reduces from 1.5 radians to zero radians. Uh, assuming a constant angular acceleration, assuming that the angular acceleration is constant, find the time for it to come to rest. Okay, time figure out put away after what time the object come to rest. So how long it takes for the object to come to rest? So if I figure out for the Beta formula is for the party. One formula is we know omega equal to omega naught plus alpha t. By the way, and if I want to use this formula this time, it at the formula, say, and then and the formula for time is like uh, omega square equal to omega square or naught square plus 2as. To alpha, so two is this is a linear motion, so we will replace a by alpha and s by theta, twice alpha theta. So from this equation, at first you have to find the value of alpha. Using this equation, you have to find the value of alpha. That means omega no equal to zero square equal to one point five whole square plus two into alpha into theta. So Theta is equal to 85. So basically, alpha is equal to 1.5 whole square divided by 165. And then minus 
So this should be the value of alpha, and this value of alpha should be substituted here. If you replace this value of alpha here, see, this will give you the value of t, t equal to t equal to omega is zero, omega naught by alpha. So this alpha, we can wash it out. Okay. And then what is the angular acceleration? By the way, this is the angular acceleration. How much time required for it to complete the first 20 of 40 revolution? How long is going to take to complete 20 revolution? Or that 20 revolution complete for the quarter to time lag. So for this is solution for part B, this is my solution for part A, and for C, it is acting for the time to complete. 20 revolution. That means theta equal to 20 into 2 pi, that is about 40 pi. So if my theta equal to 40 pi, what should be the time? If my theta equal to 20 pi. So we can say theta equal to omega naught t my plus one half alpha t square. So same again, uh, omega naught is uh, 1.5 radian per second and alpha, the value of alpha is this one. That you got from part B, it will the replace call and theta by 45, you will get the answer. Okay. So now we have a question about the problem. It could be easy math. And then uh, there is another math. An object rotates about the fixed axis and this angular position uh, of a reverse line on the object is given by theta equal to 0.4 t e to the power 2t, where theta is in radians, time in second. Consider a point on the object that is 4 centimeter from the axis of rotation. At time t equal to 0, what are the magnitude of the points, uh, tangential component and angular, uh, as eta, eta dot uh, tangential component, radial component dot By the way, this tangential component of uh, acceleration is basically equal to um, theta a bolichi, alpha bolichi, okay, tangential component. I'm radial component to Borbona. So basically, uh, theta is given. Theta is the equation 0 0.40 e to the power 2t. This is the equation for the displacement of an object. And uh, consider a point on uh, the object that is 0.4 centimeter from the axis of rotation. For example, an object is rotating about a fixed object, about a fixed axis. An object is rotating and even the rotation is the displacement, displacement the equation they explain Korajai, but describe Korajai. Akon will say the if a point is here, that is 0 point or 4 centimeter from the center axis of rotation. If the point is 4 centimeter from the axis of rotation, what I have to do, I have to find the acceleration at this point. Acceleration at this point. And by the way, acceleration A, alpha equal to Amrabolici, he will say, The initial component of acceleration is, by the way, is equal to A. The initial component of acceleration is equal to A, uh, which is equal to alpha R. Okay, eta, I'm a tangential component. Radial component, I'm going discuss for you with me and Jackson. So A equal to alpha R. A, A, A is the acceleration, this is called the tangential component of acceleration. Now, what first I have to find the alpha. So alpha equal to what? Alpha equal to D square theta by DT square. That means uh, D DT of, 0 0.4 e to the power 2t, and this will be basically e to t square. So this will be ddt of, when you differentiate for it, it will give 0 0.8 e to the power 2t, and differentiating this one second, we'll get uh, 1.6 e to the power, right? So this is the alpha of t. So we have to find out Alpha of t, we have to find out the acceleration a at time t equal to zero second. So at time t equal to zero, and alpha of zero is equal to, I have to say 1.6 into e to the power two into zero. E to the power zero means one. So 1.6, this is my alpha, 1.6. And a equal to alpha r. Alpha is 1.6 and r is the radius that is four centimeter. And the four centimeter means 0 0.04 meter. So this is the acceleration. Okay. 
clear so uh, that's all for today that's all for today uh, from this chapter from this chapter you have to uh, try few maths these are the homework from this chapter so that's all for today Thank you, Mr. Masiris.